Hey, greetings everyone, it's Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Thursday, April the 13th. I hope all is well for you on this Thursday morning. Uh, we're getting some very uncharacteristically warm weather here in the Northeast. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today. Uh, but as I always say, it is what it is. We take what we are given in terms of the weather and some of the conditions of our day and we do the best we can with it. We take the road that is there in front of us and a road that is very famous called the road to Emmaus will be something we will talk about in our scripture reflection today. So I'm going to ask you, as I always do, to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel from St. Luke chapter 24 verses 35 to 48. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish, and he took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, and everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name. To all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. So this gospel is a continuation, <coughs> excuse me, or really kind of the end of the gospel of the road to Emmaus where disciples came up to Jesus and were not sure who he was and walked along with him. When they finally recognized him, they were startled. They were a little bit like, whoa, what's going on? And for us, that is an absolute sign that we need to look within our passions, which sometimes startle us, right? Sometimes our passions and our purpose in this life are what we sometimes have the most fear about uncertainties about ourselves and what we can do with them. And that leads us to wounds of our life, which is why Jesus showed his hands and feet. So I will tell you that finding God and finding your purpose are the same thing, and they are found sometimes in those challenges that are embedded in your purpose. That's a bit complex, but it's true, isn't it? If you think back to what you do struggle with sometimes, and I've done this many times myself, you realize that God is embedded in the struggles that surround your purpose. And once you see that and you see God is there, you also see God is with you. And that's why Jesus calms them in this gospel today, calms them and says, he, here I am, now go fulfill this purpose. And how do we do that? Well, on the road to Emmaus again, and here in the gospel, Jesus stresses that we are to talk about him and his mission. Now, look, I know that could be a difficult thing to do. If I go up to people in the gym and I start talking about the mission of Jesus, well, they're going to think I'm a little bit out there. And some people are literally going to walk away from me. But instead, we talk about our purpose. We talk with a purpose. We talk without having any kind of angst towards others. We talk without speaking and gossiping about others. We talk about nice things and with a positive attitude. And here I go again, I'm putting my hand up. I know this is a challenge for me and I know it's a challenge for you. But that is how we talk about God the most and reveal what this road of Emmaus really is, not only for us, but for those who we interact with. It is a recognition of where God is in our life, and then, yes, going out and doing our part to talk about 
what is most important in this world, which it comes down to Jesus' mission, which is all about compassion to others. My friends, that's my message for you on this Thursday morning. As always, I hope it is helpful for you. If it was, I ask you to share it on your page for others to gain some value as well. I welcome your comments and your thoughts always. I wish you all a wonderful Thursday, and I will see you back here on Sunday. Take care, everyone.